<clears throat> hey YT, it's me, Nate, the person, uh, and today we're gonna be taking a look at all these nice worlds that I have. Oh boy, I can't wait to see all the worlds. <laughs> Let's start off with another construction world. You see, I created this. This is actually a prison that I created. Basically, why it's named another construction world is because some of my friends uh, like to join me a lot, and I don't really want them to join me a lot, so I kind of, sort of had to disguise it as something else. Also, all these command block lines are all mining fatigue lines. So there can be like up to four people in the prison at a time. Three guards, one prisoner. So right here is just a little little hopper system. This isn't like a professional prison. This is just something I made for fun. Also it uses command blocks as you can see in the top right corner. Also let me just really quickly use my fast travel. And now, since I've hit that wall while using a trident and a lytra at the same time, yeah, it's it's a bit of a bug exploit thing that you can use. And then once you start to elytra again, you can't do it again. It's a bit of a bit of a bug that I like to use all the time because it's incredibly fun. It's on the other side. I gotta. There we go. You can also do that, which is incredibly stupid. Why, why did I just start to fly? Well, anyway. so that way they're on half a heart and then night vision it was that night vision there before hold on all right but uh then they're supposed to crawl all the way through this tunnel system maze Which I somehow memorized. And then they're supposed to go straight through here. And there's a little warden's door right past here. And that's all I've built so far because I'm too lazy to do anything else. <laughs> well, uh, anyways, the next thing we got is got talent question mark. I was gonna make a little talent show with a bunch of people, but then I kind of put it on hold permanently. So yeah, I have a whole construction list. Like the roof, it was gonna be an archway. We need to make a ton of seats. The king seat, which is already made, so I can scratch that off. The stage is gonna be over there, and then lights everywhere. So yeah, this, this place is unfinished. It's meant to look like a kind of medieval castle, where I'm going to be sitting here, they're going to be acting, and if I find their performance bad, yeah, they're not going to have a fun time, but uh, yeah, that's here, so in this, uh, in this next world, this is an adventure map that I made a, a quite a bit back. It's incredibly cringe. So prepare prepare to cringe your faces into oblivion. Why do I have an iron door? Did I reset this already? Hold on, it's 
it goes through a long and difficult process of resetting stuff. Yeah, I reset it. Alright. The real way to test if I reset it is by doing this. You know, for some reason, a while back, I called this place, like, just the most random thing. I said, Ola, and I was like, okay, it's going to be Ola. So you'll see a reference to that during the boss fight, question mark. Uh-oh, something spooky. nothing out there so I should have made that more menacing like there's nothing out here and just just added like a period behind it created the person and that's me and best of all there's a big reward at the very end your big reward is uh, not much of a big reward <laughs> welcome to the hall admire it isn't it amazing this actually took me a decent amount of time to make and it actually looks somewhat decent this is the calm before the storm you may want to practice puzzles remember that sign back there that said find the oddity well i, I see something very different when the, from the rest of them with this one uh this is this is a guy named Carl. He tells you the truth. The only big prize at the end is death. Oh, by the way, my name is Carl. I'm losing the signal. Remember to look for my sign. Whatever that is. So basically, this guy kind of hacks into the place. And then he uses this thing as his insignia. So you, whenever you see that, you know he's there. Pretty nice. Question one, which is better? I purposefully made this really creepy. Watching just uh, being watched. Well, your first puzzle. That must have been exciting. It wasn't for us. Let's just let's just move on. Oh my me, let's move on. You have so much to do. Like I said, his insignia is like everywhere. Listen, they're, they're really creepy. At the end of this whole ordeal, there will be a bow, 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 boss battle. <laughs> they will try to kill you, but I can break you out. You will wake up in their lab. Go to the back servers. I will be there. Just don't die. <laughs> Bravo 6, <laughs> going dark. P.S. I may not be able to contact you again. May. P.S.S. This place was intentionally made to look like a flimsily made adventure place. It's not at all. I, do, I didn't know what else to call it other than an adventure map to make it kind of like, ooh, you're going to this kind of theme park-esque thing. And they kind of made it to look like that. So, yeah, that's what that is. Question two, when you get your big reward, how will you feel? <laughs> I'm letting the audience decide. <laughs> the audience didn't decide that I, I did. <laughs> but uh, what would you do if we tried to trick you? <laughs> Run. Stay there and pretend nothing happened. <laughs> nothing. E. I've been captured, take my gear and get out. Don't try to look for me, I'm probably in a simulation. You can see that it starts to turn to red. So it might be a bad idea to follow his his advice now. This way. Hold on, I'm gonna go in creative just so you can get it. you guys can see the sheer size of this <laughs> this thing that I made. So basically he has he has this legs 
He has a ton of anvils. <laughs> Bell. And that's his that's his head. These are his arms. In one hand he has fire, in the other he has a saw blade. Just just take a second to admire that. Hola. That's my that's my reference. <laughs> and goodbye, I am the final boss of the seven puzzles now day. Okay, I can disable this part. I ran away from the guards that captured me. We still have a chance. Surfer module boss kill has been disabled. Yes we did and now we just need to transport you out. Blah blah blah. A ton of stuff. Subject seven status processing. Subject six failed to compute. Subject five. Subject four, three, two, one. Uh, back servers. I will save that for a minute. Regular servers. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's lucky seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh oh. <laughs> well, anyways, if you go, to, if you follow his instructions, then. Listen, Carl here, yeah, they did put me in the simulation, but I speed ran it and escaped. I am back in the real back servers. This is all fake. You're still in the simulation. They pretended to be me to trick you. Now they will get serious. Remember, look for my sign. It'll put you off their radar, Carl. Did I seriously not fix this part of the map? Oh my god, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> Already... Oh yeah, I, I originally thought that number seven was gonna be right here, so I just but like already went up. See you there, Carl. Exit. This is the elevator. Win. This is a one-way door. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> You've fallen victim to one of the classic blunders. You didn't escape. Your foolish friend Carl was captured. He never ran away from the guards. We only said he did. Now we'll complete these puzzles to get the big reward. Ah! That is bright. Hold on. I need to adjust my eyes. From my caveman eyes to my outside eyes. Oh my god. Originally this was going to be one giant infinity room maze. But, uh, I will demonstrate why not. Let me get an item frame really quick. You can hear me clicking. So it doesn't let you place item frames in the same block. So that's why this is, is just a bunch of lamps. Otherwise, it would be an infinity room. You see, I know this is the wrong way. I'm just purposely showing you guys <laughs> what not to do. I know the exact right way. I'm just not going to follow it yet. Oh, boy, I wonder if it... Oh, no, it's not up here. Oh, boy, will this last one actually take me out? The answer is yes. It's gonna get scary. Alright, I hope. Oh wait, there's a there's a pressure plate right here that you're not supposed to see, and basically it plays. It's supposed to like look like it plays an audio clip from Carl when he was, you know, right right now. Yeah, it's it's kind of hilarious. Come on, you know I'm going incredibly fast, but why can't I go faster? Oh yeah, I, it, this was purposefully made to take a really stupid long time and just annoy the hell out of people. So yeah, if you just keep going. No, 
How did that experience make you feel? Did it scare you? It should have. Actually, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Honestly, that wasn't that scary. We even added the audio of your friend Carl getting put into a test. Ahaha. 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 Mad scientist. <laughs> Other scientist. And he says his name. So we know the two scientists are Ken and James. Oh. I forgot about this. I'm gonna step on the spawn. Hope you like spiders. I did not like spiders. And that's why I needed the chat. I landed on it. Wait, if I just run to the other end, they can't hit me. Trying to cheat my way out of my own system. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I did that totally legit. I, I, don't, I don't know the command for giving myself a healing potion. <laughs> okay, Carl here. I got an idea. In the real back server, since the server fries will... Ooh. A very sharp computer chip. He can get a weapon and I'll get set free. <laughs> Easy. In the near future, I'll be able to give you something to fry the place. I'll create a sub tunnel to a control room. Uh, yeah, I. Yeah, that's at my spawn point. Man. Was that fun? I thought so. Yeah, that one. That was pretty fun. These next few puzzles are going to be extremely difficult, so don't get your hopes up for that big reward. For this puzzle, you must navigate the red box to the hole outlined in gold, and the door will open. Green buttons pull, while blue buttons push. Good luck. I made this originally a while back. I was actually uh, doing something for... Oh, no, wait, the red block was originally here. Something happened, and then it got pushed here. But, uh, I was doing kind of like this most secure vault thing in Minecraft. I was making a ton of layers to it of redstone and stuff. Not like, not like those videos that you see all the time nowadays. I mean, like, the good old-fashioned, like, vaults that held items, not people. Man, those were the good old days. But yeah, from my from my many years of experience with these things, I've made a lot. I know exactly how to operate these things. Okay, not going to lie, that was pretty cool, but let's move on. For this next one, I hope you know a lot about redstone. Now, which area will the redstone power? This way to get a closer look from James. Just pretend this is a redstone block. Point A, point B, or point C. Oh boy, I wonder which one. Could it be point C? No, no, wait. Could it be point B? Wrong. <laughs> Could it be point A? Wrong. Could it be point C? Which is very obviously going around it, so it's probably this one. Great job. 
Why is job capitalized? The next puzzle is the final one before your big surprise. How do you feel? Amazing. Insert dot door dot here. <laughs> Press it, Carl. What? Hold on. I can't even place it, are you kidding me? Hold on, now I can place it. Now I can do this. Entity 2, entity spawned. Why are there so many entities spawning? Oh no. <laughs> what just happened? I think the surfer is being fried. Oh no. Uh oh, it's Carl's monologue. It's taking you a while to wake up, so I left these for you. After the surfers fries, I got the chip and forced all the staff to go into their own simulations. I put them into the empty test tubes and went through the elevator. See you there, Carl. P.S. The accident they talk about. It was a test subject who failed to render into the simulation. Quite horrifying, but I just moved on to the elevator. So basically... Oh yeah. Pod status processing. Puzzle status end. Awaiting input. Yeah, so basically all these things are like that. Bunch of barrels. Freight elevator. From you know, the surface down. And then up through here. At the uh pod area two right here. The exit is right there. Pod area one. So these are just like the rest of the pods with another freight elevator. So uh, I need to get closer to my microphone. The servers are down here. Basically, got the main servers one, two, three, four, five. Back servers. This is where Carl was. Six. Warning do not touch. Lucky seven. Storage, do not enter. Ever wondered where pod number six was? Here it is. And then there's just, there's just a journal. It's kind of boring, honestly. So basically, it kind of comes in, kidnaps James, replaces him with a different James. Up slash down. This is an elevator design that I use really commonly. It's very easy to use. From here, oh yeah, if you jump, you can see everything. <laughs> Seven, build team, the person, Gager Fox, Tango Alpha 9, play testers, the person, Tango Alpha 9, Gager Fox, Shy Wolf 2007. You will see all these other people in the SMP. I guarantee it. Press your creative. Boom. And yeah, that's really it. For this one, at least. This is a marathon of every single one of mine. Super Vanilla Battles. I'm pretty sure I've already showcased that. It is basically... Uh, is this beta testing? Or no. This one's beta testing. Basically, Super Vanilla Battles is a battle map. I'm just here fixing a couple things. Uh, basically, what it is, I need to go to spawn right there. Basically, what it is, is uh, you spawn. Misplace that block. You spawn right here. You get to read the rules, blah, blah, blah. And then you get to pick your team, blue and red. Basically, all these all these pressure plates have a random number on it, except for this one, which uh, you know it says server one six eight three four or whatever. But this one 
says, Server 7 teleported the person 46625. Choose map warning when choosing stand close to the button. So there's a lot of people, and let's say someone is standing right here reading these signs, and then you're back here and you're going to press pipeline. Once you press that button, the person who's closest to the button actually gets teleported. So that's a fun fact to troll your friends with. So we got ruins, extra large, ginormous thing here. Uh, actually, I should have saved. I I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for later. Pipeline was the first one I've ever made. It's incredibly small. From here, you can't tell that the buildings are just fronts, but that's exactly what they are. There's literally nothing to them, except for one, which I won't I won't disclose which one. But uh, yeah, the two spawns, nice trucks. You get to hide in the blue truck until the end right here. Then you can go on top of the blue truck. But uh, yeah, that's really it for this one. So I will go back to level select. So then we got pipeline watchtowers. This one's in the middle of the night. Got a nice watchtower, hedge maze. Two big battle areas on the sides. This should not be here. Uh, I will explain the classes in one second. I just need to get back here. Uh, so basically, what the classes are. I have nine classes. Sort of, maybe, kind of inspired by Team Fortress 2 a bit. Uh, yeah. Tank. Tank. I thought I was in like survival. So basically, you get like a boat and a shield, and that's it. You have no weapons. You just kind of go into battle with a boat and a shield. Bird dude, you get an elytra, some speed pots, and like a wooden sword. No way, you get a crossbow with a couple arrows. Healer, you get a ton of healing potions. The sneak, you get a wooden sword. An invisibility pot, and that's literally it. Knight, you get an iron sword and some stuff like a bow and a couple arrows. Bomb man, you get a ton, and I mean a ton, of potions of harming, and a wooden sword. <laughs> well, I just need to clear my inventory. Sniper, you get a crossbow with like. Some stuff. Huntsman, you get a bow instead of a crossbow. Civilian is the worst class. You get like a water bottle and stuff. It's kind of weird. But, uh, anyways, I think if my microphone is good enough, I think you guys can probably hear my dog barking. So, yeah. Um, cargo, medium. Cargo is like this. Oh my god, my dog is freaking like a banshee but uh, yeah cargo is like this very open area except for the boat and the bridge which are key places that you want to go to oh my god my dog is all right i'm skipping over bunker and ruins right now for boom <laughs> i forgot about it <laughs> this is supposed to be in mushroom cloud <laughs> Look at the top of the mushroom cloud. <laughs> oh my god, I can't I can't do high pitched notes so I can't even do like my high pitched surprised voice. But uh we were building this and like I was in the middle of making the mushroom cloud and I was like, meh, nah, I wanna save time, I'm gonna make this thing tiny. So that's exactly what I did. And it looks hilarious. So basically this is the most open of the maps. You can straight up just kill someone all, all the way over there with like a crossbow or something. So I'm just going to go back to level select. Now it's time for ruins and bunker. These two are the connected ones. And you see these all, all of these have the exact same classes except they're in like different rooms obviously. This has a spiral staircase 
and this beacon can be turned on and off by behind the electrical shed basically you can like flip it up to turn the beacon off turn it down to put the beacon on but uh, there's way more to this we have a nice boat in the middle of the field that isn't supposed to be there all of these structures which are kind of like ruins and stuff oh my god my dog is barking okay. but uh anyways you have that little area over there this nice parkour house that you need to do parkour in okay my dog is like screeching like a banshee oh my god like i can't even hear myself think with this but uh, yeah snipers can go up here get a better angle here's a tower that you can climb all the way to like right here if you're on red this is extremely good if you're on blue this is extremely bad well I mean it could be good if you do like this but then they can just go around the side and just annihilate you but uh, if you're red you can always like duck behind here if someone starts shooting you so yeah now the reason these things connect is a little secret inside the electrical shed do not open emergency bunker do not open no matter what and you see what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it and if we ever want to leave we can just so these two maps are kind of intertwined so now we got like the exit up there this is cafeteria this was before I started playing Amogus. So I had no idea that cafeteria was just gonna be like a slime thing. Trash. I think you know what I must do. Yeah, I'd teleport you back at the top if you'd fall in there. Storage, housing, and recreation for. Oh my god, my dog is way louder. Uh, so basically, this is kind of, you know, housing. This is the spawn for red. I had to look over there and see like red and blue it's very difficult to tell now over here this is reds you see blues like has a ton of supplies this is reds <laughs> for the end R. and then blue over here is a ton of supplies you know everything you need to live and then it's basically the same recreational area is under construction and yeah that's really all the maps. However, there are some secret areas. There's a secret way to get to an admin room, which I will not show how, but there is a secret admin class for admins. If someone decides to download this, which get this video to like a hundred likes and I'll, I'll make this downloadable. So that way, admins of servers, you know, if someone's, you know, acting up, hop down here, get the developer class, and then, you know, get teleported wherever. AFK shack. This little shack with a bunch of stuff in it. AFK. You know, you go AFK in there. And, uh, giant high. <laughs> These are all the level select things, signs for each one. This is watchtowers. This is pipelines. This is ruins. This is cargoes. This is booms. And this one, oh my god. This one is bunkers. So yeah, that's that's really it for this world. And uh developers, I'm gonna just gonna give you a little hint. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's really it for that world. It's, uh, yeah, it's like the, the version 1.0.1 .1 version, uh, that one was the one that I built, and then I made a copy of it for beta testing. So now, uh, I got the Anarchy Archipelago. Basically, it's just a bunch of islands, and I left a sign for myself telling myself to build something. 
make home. Yeah, I I name I name a, a lot of my stuff in different worlds the same as I name it in other worlds. So like spaghetti fork, that's basically my kind of trident toothpick. Yeah. Epsilon, I made I made this crossbow in a an SMP, which you will see I have house designs for in a minute. But uh, basically, I had this crossbow that I called uh, Project Epsilon, and basically that that's what happened to people. So, anyways, yeah, it's just an archipelago, a ton of islands, really cool. The hub. Hmm. Basically, this was made to annoy my friends who like to join me a lot. I have a nice office here. Basically, when they join, they either go here. No, wait. Yeah, I can fill that entire cube with lava if I want. And then I can just clear it. But, uh, yeah. So basically, they spawn somewhere. I need to go all the way up. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it. My crossbow's just in oof. Basically, they spawn in this tree. They have the decision to either go to the office that I just showed you, or to the giant toilet bowl. <laughs> so once, once they're inside the toilet bowl, they can either die a horrid, painful, exasperating death, i.e. going down the toilet or they could go back here and up here and they can go to a better viewing position and just kind of look out at people and then immediately fall back down so yeah and then if they want to they can just pretty sure I made a secret somewhere Somewhere around here. Hold on, I need to. Whoa, wait, there it is. Escape. Here's escape. <laughs> Death. There we go. Just had to glitch through the ceiling, and that's it for this place. <laughs> Made this one kind of as a joke. Just so I can trap those annoying people. But, uh, anyways, here's a training world that I made basically to kind of train in combat because before I was really garbage at combat now I'm a bit better but basically kind of like a ring around this place this is very temporary but uh, yeah I have this dojo thing a whole shebang set up there's nothing on the outside of it just a bunch of banner tests that we did but uh you know, nice little, little farm over here with a ton of little tropical fish. Why are there arrows in the middle of this pool? Some bamboo. Well, I mean, it's sugar cane, but there's this bamboo. <laughs> I called sugar cane bamboo, and I was like, oh no. But, uh, yeah, that's that world. And then. 
Turt Kafaf house ideas. That SMP that I reference a lot is uh, it's it's one of the SMPs. It's called Turtlecraft. It was a while. Never mind. It was a while back. Uh, basically, we kind of uh, and like made a bunch of SMPs and then ended all of them. So these are four base ideas that I had. First one, man tower is just a giant tower all the way to build limit. Uh, second one is the frill. This took me like an hour to make. It's a very cool design. I really like it. Of course, the base is like completely empty. It has four entrances from the basement, and then this giant winding spiral staircase goes all the way up first floor to the second floor and then all the way further up to this floor also it has the dragon egg so yeah I gotta go up over this because the staircase here I can't walk under this if it's completely flat so yeah but uh three little sections over here <sighs> Sorry. Uh, the second one is marrow that you can see here. Basically, I made a design on my friend's building world, and I decided, hey, why don't I rebuild it? And I didn't rebuild it. This is not the same. <laughs> the other one's incredibly complex and actually like beautiful. And then we have my masterpiece, the lab. Don't know what all this stuff I have this for. Do I have anything else on me? No. Nothing of interest, at least. So basically, this is going to be like the surface. Here's a storage shack and cool fountain. A bunch of barrels, totally not concealing a hidden wall. And here's a nice fountain. Or is it? I wish I had, like, the Vsauce music. I could just play it, like, or is it? What was that? Did you hear that? Audience, if if you heard that, leave, leave a like and subscribe. Okay, but seriously, though, what the hell was that? We have the security room open. You know, some cameras, which are maps. Player tracking maps ton of stuff in here, two sets of armor for the guards. Now, uh, the menu. Steak, A1. Fries, cake, A3. Fries are supposed to say fries, A2. Like, so basically B1, B2, and B3. A, A1, B2, A3. So, there's going to be, like, a secret kind of thing linking up to this piston stuff over here. So, uh, like, when you get the steak and the fries and maybe a bit of coffee, you unlock the secret area. And, yeah, this is totally unfinished. So I'm just going to move on to the next one. Ah, man, I love touring all these old worlds. Ah. Now we're getting to somewhat recent stuff cool stuff this is just like some cool stuff that I made it's unfinished like most of my worlds anyways uh, it does not start here it starts over here it's a nice area here at the top of the stairs go down the stairs and we have my puzzles basically I, I just put an N here for Nate so when you go over here, you're brought with three corridors. One of them is going to be this labyrinth. This one is like a, you know, garage or something. And this one, dead end, it's going to be blocked off. But, yeah, it's going to lead to, like, the treasure room and whatnot. But, uh, right here, this is the one that I finished so far. 
little little garage area until you realize that why is there snow here? Fuck. Oh. oh. Oh wow. I wonder what could be in here. Maybe there's a secret room that I could obviously not see. Wow. Haha, <laughs> this path is a fake. Haha, <laughs> yes. So basically, this entire path here was a fake. It's meant to draw them out. So that way they can just, you know, feel like, oh wow, I actually found something. When in reality, they have to go through the labyrinth. This is the labyrinth. <laughs> started construction on the walls but uh down here is a map of the labyrinth 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 and over here is just like a little section i need to build down because of this thing the entrance so of course i had to build something here If you manage to land on the lantern, <laughs> lucky you. But not for long. Basically, you just fall to your death. <laughs> there's there's nothing down there except for black concrete and the soul-crushing feeling of being alone. Anyway, yeah, that's this map. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one. Clutch practice. Clutch practice. This is when I started to practice my clutches. Which was a bit further back, but, you know, still practice them. Practice my water bucket. Watch this, I'm gonna nail it. You saw me place that. You did say you did see me place that, right? I, you saw me right click that. But <laughs> it, it it shows the water particles. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's this world. Took me a couple tries for that one, but uh, nice world. This one, this one's a this one's a big one. It is a big world this is something for my eyes only uh just a ton of stuff all over got my child obliterator 13 this is something random that i made uh yeah you know what, I'm gonna save, I'm pretty sure I've already toured this with everyone. Basically, right here is here, this is this giant city, you know, giant learning house here, lake town over here, farm, prison, somewhere down there. Won't reveal where. Or the prison could be here. Or this, this I like to call this the Iberian Peninsula. Because <laughs> it just looks like Spain and Portugal. If you look at it from an odd angle, it looks like Spain and Portugal. But uh, yeah, that's, that's really it for here. Ton of stuff in there that uh, takes another day. Man. I was actually building like a mansion thing until I just kind of gave up and I was like, nah, I have better things to do. <laughs> so, oh man, this video is going to be incredibly long. Wait, how long have I been recording this? Oh no, hold on. Oh my god, it's been 49 minutes. But uh, anyways, this is like a mansion thing that I was building. It's kind of cool. Today's question of the day, would you live here? Your answer? No. <laughs>
Yeah, this is just something I made in my free time for some, you know, fun. Which I found in somewhere else. Basically, this vote thing, I run a Minecraft club. And uh, this is actually unused because it's Java edition now. <laughs> had to swap up the editions because one person didn't have a certain edition. And then I had to swap it up. Basically, everyone spawns down here. And then they get to vote for either Build Battle, Fight Club, or Team Speed Run, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Anyway, uh, Hitman HQ, a little group I made with my friends in the past, where uh, basically in one of the past SMPs, I kind of like hunted someone down, maybe, sort of, kind of, across literal millions of blocks, and then I killed them. So then we decided to make like a hitman coalition, which I started, and then I promptly left because they were being annoying. So uh, we here we got some clocks. We got a staff only room with map gear, some pickaxe, and then a little area where you can talk to a person and you get let in. So here are the clocks. Hit operations board, other operations board, and yeah, that's really it for this place. It's honestly, kind of boring. That's why I decided, uh, huh? If you'll excuse me for one moment. Need to take care of something. Sorry about that, just really quickly needed to move something around on my desk. Uh, quite annoying, I kept rubbing my arm on it, and it was just like, oh no, I am, like, dangerously itchy. <laughs> dangerously itchy, what the hell. Well anyways, this is build designs. Just a bunch of build designs that I made. There's a cool looking house with a spike on the front. With a, uh basement <laughs> but uh, anyway if you go up here just like the attic thing down here is you know all that stuff and uh, down here you got the the chopper bunch of tokens and stuff <laughs> no bama containment chamber you you know you know the uh, I forgot what what number president he was <laughs> the like 45th I'm pretty sure president of the United States of America yeah well basically I kinda said one day I was like Obama and then anyways that's how that s I started a religion <laughs> I have an image of like the book of Obama on my phone I can actually I will read it one day on like a live stream Anyways, this is the anti-Obama, no Obama containment chamber. And anyways, he escaped through a tunnel. And then, actually, there's a fight club area. Down here. With a button, just in case they get trapped in. You know. Just your usual fight club area. Except this one's not really that usual. <laughs> well, uh, anyways, I will show you where the fight clubs would have taken place had uh, I not changed the edition from Bedrock to Java. Basically, we got a nice pool here. I should maybe add a couple axolotls. This was all made before 1.17. Most of these worlds are. Well, I mean, there's only one world that I made after 1.17, so... Oh, yeah, I gotta reset the redstone. Every time I enter this world, this one dropper constantly needs to be replaced because of some stupid Minecraft game mechanic. 
where it stops working like if you don't replace it so yeah that's how this door works and then just close it and yeah here's the main area a little lectern this is the upstairs area over here with all your basic necessities in minecraft but down here down here is fight club area but uh, anyways up here you know I'm just gonna keep going out of here and over here is a little meeting place for people and then chirp chirp is yeah chirp is chirp with a bunch of seats <laughs> these are not toilets I promise you <laughs> these are seats but uh yeah up here basically if you're in survival this is the area to get to to replace the the dropper so yeah that's it for the builds world there's nothing else uh there's a couple more worlds Jeez, this is like a marathon. This is testing, testing, one, two, three. This is my redstone world. <sighs> I put a lot of pride into my redstone. And here I made like a ticking clock. Very cool stuff. But uh, anyways... I made this, which this is going to teleport you to over there, and it's going to be a whole puzzle thing. But, uh, yeah, flying machine over here, and, uh, cool and interesting glitch that you can do. See, see that soul sand? See how there's no water? No, no water at all. In fact, I'm just going to remove those signs. See, there's no water. <laughs> Yeah, it's an exploit that me and my friends found out how to make, and then we've been using it ever since. It's incredibly useful. This one needs to have water because it's a zip line. If you swim in water and then look up at the ceiling and then go forward, if there's still ceiling there or it's one block above you, you can still you can still like swim in air. If you look down, of course, you go down. This is a failed design. Basically, a slime block machine runs over here, launches TNT cannon, goes over here, launches the TNT cannon, goes over here. This is honestly just like terrible design. <laughs> but uh, this is a train station with a flying machine. Sends the flying machine all the way down to this train station, then it can send it back. This is a Combine no, this is a this is a key card access door from a tutorial that I found, and I actually had to edit the tutorial because it uh, didn't really work. This is a combination lock that I learned how to use and like memorized how to make. This is just a flush piston door. really fast flush piston door but uh, anyways there's like a little flying machine up and down there there like you can experience the glitch in here from some water at the very end over there and yeah uh, this I don't remember what this is Oh, oh, this is, this is a key card system. Which you throw it on the floor, and then it opens up a door you can walk through, and then you can shut it. It's, it, it's a concept that I made myself. I decided to put kind of two and two together to make all that. The, of course, all the redstone, like, I kind of took it from the key card combination thing. Oh yeah, you know, just in case, just in case you don't want people coming near you, boom. 
But, uh, yeah. That's really it for all of this. Except for over there, which is like, you know, one of the puzzles for my thing. And then it teleports you. I'm actually not sure what this is. Oh, uh, this is, uh. This is part of the puzzle. So. Now this thing, which I will not activate because that's in the way, but this thing, I like to call this thing the Armada. Basically, what this thing is, if I remove all this obsidian, and I put nine stacks of TNT into each of these dispensers, all of them, I can go around, and from in here, I can press a button. What the hell? Huh. Well, anyways, I can, like, press this button, and then it explodes it. I did not put any of this stuff here. But, uh, yeah, then it basically kind of like the button scene from the dream smp you know with wilbur and he presses the button and then it blows up la manberg but uh instead of you know just a bunch of tnt we instead get a giant armada a fleet of tnt launching slime block flying machines they will launch all the way. I need I need fireworks to get to the end of this. Literally, I, I kept one continuously going with nine stacks of TNT. But it will go all the way out. Really stupidly far. It is OP as hell. This honestly is one of my prized possessions that thank god only I memorized how to do this. I can I can create one of these from scratch. I can honestly I memorized how to build one of those things. I can make it without the tutorial. But other people not so sure. And that Pretty sure that's a good thing. But, uh, anyways. Stage, we don't talk about that one. HQ2 is my upgraded version of Hitman HQ. It's it's in an actual world that I, I've never used. I, like, generated, you know, a regular infinite world. And, uh, anyways. I'm not supposed to see all this. Basically, up. Oh, hold on one minute. I have to move something on my desk again. It kept annoying my arm. Alright, sorry about that. But, uh, anyways, you basically go through like a hole in the water over here. There are a couple exits that leave you up out here, but uh, there's one single block of water. I found this naturally generated, and you know you crawl down here, you go down here, all the way over to here, and it's like welcome to HQ2. Welcome to HQ20. <laughs> uh, that's... Honestly, I love doing that. <laughs> but uh, anyways, 
you need a key card to get through this door if you're just opening up but usually there's someone in here which will open the door for you now if you'll just uh, really quickly excuse me I'm going to go into the redstone yes like the really complicated redstone and now it is closed so then the guard goes in here and then they operate the door from in here but uh, here's a disposal area where you can dispose of items that you don't need. And then here are a bunch of the archives. Like this is mine with uh, you know a contract. By signing this formal document of agreement, I, the signer, declare that each of the following terms will be followed exactly as they are by me. No, f uh, no fighting other hitmen, no undocumented executions, a file storage will be provided, which is the archive area. Always check in to HQ after each mission, support fellow hitmen, embark on any mission assigned to myself, defend the HQ in case of an invasion. So basically, yeah. Signed, the person, manager. So this is my contract, because I run the place. I make all the contracts. There are a ton of contracts. Like literally all of these are the exact same book and bill over and over. But uh, this, this is the clock. I have no idea how it's still running. Usually when you leave and rejoin the world, it stops. And then you have to like flick this lever on and off really quick. To restart it. But uh, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of boards over here with case files, missions, etc. So yeah, that's HQ2. Now, Civilizations is the world that I've been frequenting in my videos. I've kind of, you know, gone to here in a couple of videos for the intro that's why I'm standing on here because I was recording an intro you know hey YT it's me the person blah 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 but uh yeah this is my survival world that I've been making where I'm gonna create civilization from scratch I have a lot of iron D don't mind the iron but uh anyways the currency is gonna be copper ingots very, very fascinating stuff. Here's my bed. It's like literally eternally raining. I have a nice mine and a cave over there. And yeah, life is honestly pretty good here. I also have some diamond stuff. This is like a, that's like a private kind of survival world that I'm gonna, you know, check in with it once in a while. The tripartite SMP. Now this this is a this is a very nice world. I made it quite a while back, like a couple months ago. It's pre 1.17. I made all these rules, a 20 page law book for the entire world. <laughs> you, you, you can tell that I spent a lot of time on this. Uh, yeah. I think you might be able to tell. But uh, an anyways, my base is over there, it's over there, it's, it's over there, it's everywhere. <laughs> uh, my base is over here. Base one. It's my house. It's not, it's not, this sand pillar is incredibly, like, momentous. Because this is where the first book ever created on... The first item of the world ever created was a book and quill. And then I wrote my declaration of independence for my country in this on top of that sand pillar. And that was the first thing ever done in the world. And in the middle of the night, 
you know, just kind of chilling. How did chickens get? How did they get out? How did they get out? But yeah, the the book used to be here, but now it's been moved to my other base, which I like. This is just my you know, summer base, I guess. Over here we have McDonald's created by. Uh, he's he's in canonic. He's canonically in creative mode. It's my step nephew. He's canonically in creative mode. So he kind of showed up here and built this McDonald's, and then he built this. Don't pay attention to that. But uh, basically, I kind of upgraded it with a bunch of McDonald's. Here. Including the sand that they put in their food. Because every McDonald's puts sand in their food, am I right? Where are my McDonald's workers? <laughs> this is this is going to be an incredibly fun thing to do. Well, uh, anyways, this is the shack. It's the mining shack. There's a mine down there. A little farm. Cow farm on the side of my house. Then up here, there is a meeting hall. Up here, push this button, go down this hole. And then you're in the meeting hall. And there's a little bunker beneath that, but I won't show that. I'm not supposed to. Anyways, I just kind of go back all the way up here. You have to use a trident to get to, like, a riptide 3 trying to get all the way up to here and then you just kind of walk forward onto here and then you go up the staircase all the way up and then you press the button again to get out and that's that's just the giant sky grid don't pay attention to that uh, anyways i own this i also own territories up over here including a village and an entire plains biome so I will show that right now there is the village my territory kind of cuts into here and it goes all the way somewhat around that ocean there's man tower man with three ends because I made one man tower with one n two man tower with two ends and now i have the third man tower three ends my ambition was for the original man tower was to make it to build limit this one gets as close as i'll ever be while being reasonable it's like 86 floors you know and then my my friend uh, once he gets his computer, we'll live at the very top. We were, he was anticipating his computer for his birthday in, like, April, but it never came in. So, you know, that's my step-niece's house over there. That's just a random base that I made. We own this entire plains biome. And that, uh, village over there and a bit of that biome over there, too. So, uh, the Mesa we own. Yeah, we own all of the Mesa. Actually, I really. Just for, like, the rest of the video, I'm gonna be using this kind of elytra movement maneuver thing. You know, going up. Because when you're in creative mode and you press. You hold spacebar in Bedrock Edition. You go up with the light track. Honestly, a bit of a strange concept, but right, it's useful. Anyways, the fast way of getting to this next area. Why am I lagging so much? Oh my god, that is some heavy lag. Anyway, uh, down here is my portal to get out of the anyway ignoring that is a portal to get out of this place another go down here staircase and you have my nether highway incredibly fast incredibly smooth incredibly slick on a mountain. Well, 
also a bit of this forest, but mostly the mountain. And uh, this is my step niece's kind of base, also. You know, some dogs. It's overall a really nice base. Came up here, you know, just some stuff in there, and it's called the Skyland. Also has a defense. Mechanism. Closes off the water things if someone tries to get in through the ground. Now down here in this man-made ravine or kind of borehole, there's this little thing. Now you may be wondering, oh boy, I wonder what this is. I will show you. This is my base. As you can see, we have each of the banners for each of the biomes. So we have the kind of spruce biome. I forget which one. I, oh, no, wait, that's the Skyland. So the, the, we're in the Skylands right now. We have the plains biome. Which also holds territory right in front of the Skylands in that kind of lake area. So it's in two different places. I kind of think of it as like an exclave. Or an enclave. This is our banner for the Mesa. And this is our banner for our jungle that we own. We have a farm down here, a bunch of cows, a little pressure plate there, experience thing. And on the other side is just storage and stuff. You can you can see the chests from here. That's a nice little jukebox. I have my bedroom over here. This this is this is the exclamation of independence. That is the first thing ever created in this entire world. This Minecraft world. Uh, this is kind of like the flag that I use all the time for just kind of whatever I want. It's a very cool flag. But the actual flag of it, I have yet to reveal. I will reveal that on my live stream in the grand opening. But uh, anyways, that is all of this. That is everything from here. Well, I mean everything in general. Actually, all of my worlds. So uh, thank you for completing the tour of everything. Uh, I need to get to somewhere to finish the video. So, behind me. Actually, it, it's, it's faster to use the boat on ice than it is to fly all the way there. <laughs> kind of surprising at first, but yeah, it's way faster. But, uh, anyways, let me delete this electric for a minute, since the end is very much disabled. Uh, this is going to be a realm with a bunch of my friends. I've said this already. The Anyway. <laughs> oh, he's trying, he's trying to get to McDonald's. He's trying to, he's trying to get on I was like, what is he doing? You know what? I'm gonna end the video where everything started. Well, I mean everything for this world. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Why is the sun suddenly growing? <laughs> oh my god. I, I looked behind me, and I see the sun, like, tiny, tiny, and then it immediately grew to ginormous sizes. Well, uh, anyways... If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Honestly, it'll help me out, like, literally a ton. 
I'm I have like 13 subscribers as of recording this and you know I want to bump those numbers up a bit those are pretty rookie numbers you know I actually want other people to watch my stuff because I think other people will find it very much interesting so please go ahead down there subscribe if you don't like my, this kind of content I have different kinds of content I have different games I have some real life stuff which I will be actually releasing very soon now it's summer but uh, thank you all who have subscribed to me and you know who like and comment all of the videos you really you really help out like a lot no really a lot and everyone who views these videos because honestly whenever I see those views start pumping up I'm like yes yes it's gaining traction I can finally have other people view my videos especially that chirp video the one that I made which I'm releasing a sequel very soon well anyways thank you so much to my subscribers and if you're not subscribed subscribe anyway thank you so much for watching this whole whole video and I will see you in the next video which actually won't even be a video, it'll be a live stream on the 23rd. Well, thank you all so much, and I'll see you then. Bye bye. You can see me vigorous. You can just hear me in the background vigorously clicking. Well, uh, anyways, see you guys in the live stream. Bye.